fine. It's, it's fine. How can I tell you that you like to be in the spotlight? Jesus Christ. It's fine, but what that is just what if you say that you didn't do it, that's fine. Do, no, 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 I feel, I feel disappointed. I feel like I'm too much of this thing. Even if you feel something, you know that's what that's guys. Immediately after the Sunday life eviction, our resident doctor, Dr. TJ tendered a heartfelt apology to all the housemates concerning the Igbo tribalistic statement that Ibuka made mention of and he said he didn't mean it that way that the housemates should forgive him that in fact even in the last Nigerian election that he voted for an Igbo man he liked Igbo people so so much so if he made a statement that it was not even coming from a tribalistic point of view or even hatred for Igbo people that he was just you know saying something that he didn't know would have come out the wrong way his brother and partner brother Ben I swear, you know, try to tell the housemates the reason why they should temper justice with mercy on our resident doctor and the uh, therapist of the house. And ladies and gentlemen, after that, we saw Mbadiwe twins, Mr. Kelly Ray and Dr. TJ at the garden area. So the conversation they were having there was Mr. Kelly Ray confronting and calling out Dr. TJ for all the negative things or for the negative things he said about him, which Ebuka exposed. He expressed how disappointed he was with Dr. TJ and how he never expected to hear that it would have been Dr. TJ that would be making that kind of snide comment about him that his level of respect for dr tj is too way high you know to expect that kind of thing that if dr tj had felt a certain type of way about him that all he would have done was to put him aside and have a conversation with him instead of going at his back to make such a derogatory statement Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the day, Dr. DJ was trying to defend himself. You know, Dr. DJ said if he is denying that he never made a statement or he never said something that would have made him feel that type of way, that he is sorry, that they should just forget about the whole thing. And at the end of the day, you know, they reached a matured conclusion and settled the whole thing amicably. Meanwhile, why they were having that conversation at the garden, we saw Cassie talking to Onyeka, saying that hey, people, they gossip too much for this house. So, say the way people take the gossip for this house, Onyeka was just like, Bia, madam, in this house, we are supposed to be talking about one another. That it is because of the fact that people's tape have not been played in the house, that if they play other people's tape and you hear what they are saying about one another, that she will be very, very surprised that what does she expect them to be talking about, that we are they supposed to be talking about outside the house that do they know anything that is happening outside the house that it is themselves in the house that they should be talking about not outside the house that was how um cassie was now telling her that um if anybody should even gossip or say anything that the person should get his or her fat right talk about outside what do you know is happening there? Well, if you want to say something, get your facts right. Guys, the conversation was a kind of funny to me at the end of the day because when Cassie said, if you want to talk about anybody, get your facts right, Onyeka was just like, yes, yes. Like the way she was just saying, yes, yes, it was as though Cassia at that point jogged her brain and the moment of realization was then done on her because it was a kind of funny to me that she that was saying that they must talk about one another was not saying, yeah, yeah. Guys, onto the next, just no be smart, you know, like the kind of back and forth that happened between Sean and Victoria. At the end of the day, it may seem as though Victoria has started doubting herself what again because the kind of question she asked Onyeka during a conversation with Onyeka after the serious back and forth with Sean was suggesting that she may have started doubting herself. In fact, like she was moody throughout last night so the whole thing started with the nomination when big brother told the housemate to go into the diary room to nominate who they want to see leave the house guys there was a disagreement between victoria and sean in the diary room the disagreement was stemming from the fact that victoria wanted to nominate radical and streets meanwhile sean wanted to see flourish and the streets leave the house um, no, be smart, you know, at the end of the day, because of the back and forth, Big Brother gave them 10 seconds to make their decision and leave the diary room. You have 10 seconds. Um, Flourish and 
That's true. My good people of God, at the end of the day, Sean made the final decision, which is to go with Flourish and Streets. So at the end of the day, we saw Victoria and Sean. I don't know if I should say they were having a conversation or I should say Sean was seriously yelling at Victoria because the way he was passing his point to Victoria, honestly speaking, it was seeming as though he was yelling at Victoria, telling Victoria that he is 10 steps ahead of her, that in terms of making strategic decisions that will favor their team, that he is making it, you know, in a way that they will build a solid and strong alliances, that when they go outside the house, Victoria can be friends with Flourish if, if she wants, that inside this house, they are making a decision because according to him, what he was just trying to imply that um, Victoria trying to save Flourish, that's the Flourish is because of the friendship she has with um, DJ Flo that um, outside the house she can be friends with DJ Flo but inside this house the decision they are going to be making it is not going to be based off of their emotion that it should be based off of their alliances that they are building in the house and even before they went into the diary room that he was asking Victoria who she wants them to nominate to go home that she did not answer that it was in the diary room that she was now you know disagreeing with him and Victoria was just like we are you as expecting me, you know, to tell you my decision in the presence of every other housemate. Guys, don't be smart, you know, like the way Sean was seriously yelling at Victoria Omo, the team really weak and tired me. Well, at the end of the day, guys, we now saw a conversation between Onyeka and Victoria. During this conversation, they talked about a whole lot of things, most especially their, their dynamics with Ozzy. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to talk about that in a separate video because Omo, no B, no B small conversation happened between Victoria and Onyeka, but for the sake of what we are talking about, let's just stick to the question that Victoria asked Onyeka. So, Onyeka, Victoria was now asking Onyeka that if she and Sean are up for possible eviction, that will people be voting for them because of she and Sean or will people, like, will people be voting for them because of Shatoria or will people be voting for them basically because of Sean? And guys, to be quite frank with all of you guys, I like the way Onyeka answered that question, reassuring Victoria that you are worth everything because what Onyeka said that the question is just a difficult one, but if she is to answer that, she is going to be voting for them because of their two, not just basically because of one person, even though she feels that one person might have a higher chances of pushing group, but she feels that, you know, if anybody is voting for them, it should basically be because of their two, not because of one person. Ladies and gentlemen, me, I'm just like, ah. What is this dude trying to do against Sean? Remember, during their eviction diary session, we saw um, Sean telling Big Brother that last week she was the. In fact, all this while that she has been, he has been the one that has been carrying their team. That this week he saw Victoria coming out of her chair. Then he decided to lay low and allow Victoria push their week and um, push their team this week. That was why he was not really doing too much this week. Ladies and gentlemen, since he said that to Big Brother, I was expecting him that he should allow um, Victoria to have her say in this eviction diary section. And he, he did not do that. Ladies and gentlemen, honestly speaking, I don't know what Sean was trying to do. Was he trying to, you know, push Victoria back into her share so that he will continue from where he stopped or what? Because honestly speaking, the way he was passing his point to Victoria, to be quite frank with all of you guys, it did not make sense to me. Even though I feel what he was saying could have, you know, been said to Victoria in a better way that would have made her feel better about the whole situation. This will be ending this particular video. Go ahead, let me know your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel, please.